guys, I'm coming back at you with another what's in my bag. I've done a travel bag and I've done a uni bag and this is just my general bag. So with this bag, dun 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 dun, I got it probably nine months ago. It is from Dolce & Gabbana. Now before you grill me about that, I generally don't buy really, really expensive things for myself or luxury items because A, one, I'm super broke like all the time. Right now I have 200 RMB in my account, which is basically the equivalent of $40 Australian. And I will be not getting paid until like another five days time. So $40 has got to last me five days. B, I don't look after my things. I just leave them everywhere. The amount of like expensive things that I have lost just makes me never want to buy anything more. C, I'd rather spend money on travel, which just makes me even more broke all the time. So why I bought this bag was because I had a end of year bonus that year at the end of 2015. And it was like, I did not expect to have a bonus. And I had paid my rent, everything was on time. And with the bonus, I could afford to pay for this bag and still have probably like quite a substantial amount left. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself because I've had a tough year and I've had a lot of new improvements. So I bought it. Now this bag I saw, it was, I think it was part of the summer 2015 range. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, Ugh! because I love patterns and I love blue and white and I love the Chinese sort of terracotta, not terracotta, Chinese porcelain ball patterns because this style looks very like Chinese ball, right? So a lot of my friends hate it, my dad hates it, he makes fun of me, he's always like, why are you carrying around a Chinese like Taozi ball, you know, because that's what it is in Chinese. And I'm like, it's just so beautiful. And I wear a lot of whites, um, nudes and blues and yellows and oranges and it just goes really well with the bag. So originally this bag is, I think almost over 3,000 Australian dollars, it was 20,000 RMB, but I got it during winter, right after Christmas, and it was, I would like to say, I think it was 60% off or 70% off. Either way, I ended up paying 10 grand for it, so which is 2,000 Australian dollars, and it is, I don't regret it at all. I, I love this bag, and I've used it so much over these past nine months, and it fits so much. So this bag is the Sicily from Dolce & Gabbana. It's in the medium size. It's in this porcelain print and it comes with the strap like this as well. So what I love about this bag is that it has a strap but sometimes if I'm going out for dinner and I just want like a dainty bag, I can hold it like this as well. It also expands on the side so it allows more room for you to put things in. And also it has silver hardware which goes very nicely with the blue and white style. So let's take a peek inside and open it up. So I'm just going to take this out in no order whatsoever. So it is the sort of magnetic flap here, which got two. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get match them up, but that's because I have too much stuff in it. So let's just take some stuff out. First, I've got my wallet. This is the Prada card holder wallet. It's small. I generally have a bigger wallet, but because recently I just don't really need it and I've been traveling a lot, it's annoying to have to move your cards around all the time. So this one actually comes with another card insert, which I don't use at the moment, but I have four bank cards in here and then just money and my work cards in here and it's just so compact that it fits so lovely into the bag. Next thing I can't live without is my portable charger. This is the Xiaomi portable charger. It's it's Chinese. It's what is it? It's a lot of watts. It's 10,000 mega AHs whatever that means but it charges my phone three times and I cannot live without it because iPhone batteries are crap and by the time I finish my morning show, like 10 a.m., I'm already on 2% because I've been up since 5 a.m. My thermos, you did not think that this could fit a thermos. It can fit literally a whole one liter bottle of water in it, like the, the sort of stout ones, like the Fiji water ones. Um, it's not actually like hot tea, I just have my smoothie in here in the morning because I don't have a proper bottle to put my smoothie in. And then I also have a book because I love reading and recently I've been reading Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon and this one was gifted to me for my birthday by my besties Joan and Jaylin so thank you so much. And once we get into the bottom of the bag, I've got my keys. This keychain is what's left over from my lottery keychain that has officially really really died. Let's take a peek inside the bag. So once you open it up it's like that. It's got material on the inside so if your water bottle leaks you're going to get it all quite wet. Now with the little inlet pocket on the front side, I just put my earphones and then a hair tie because the girls always got to use a hair tie and this one kind of strangles my wrist so I don't want to put it on my wrist. Now, what's really cool is that it has another thingy on the inside here. So of course it has a zip section here and then it has another little pocket with the leather pattern from the bag on it. And inside here, this thing I've never personally used but I can say that it saved a lot of girls lives. It is a little pocket mirror. So on this side it says Sicily and then that side is just a mirror. 
So you know when you're just like, oh, do I have something in my teeth? I can't really tell my phone screen because my phone screen is too cracked. I was like, is my makeup okay? This bag comes with its own mirror and it just fits very nicely into this perfectly designed pocket for it. So let's open this zip up. Mm. What more goodies? I got mints because I always have to have something sweet after a meal and I generally eat a lot of onion garlicky things and it's just not good breath. Tissues because Nowhere in China do they have tissues for their toilets, so you don't want to get stuck without tissue paper and have to do the shake and go. No. A band-aid, because you always need one for blisters or I'm very accident prone so I always get a lot of paper cuts. Poor poor, just lip balm, wear it every day, just put it on cuts, put it on mozzie bites, put it on burns, anything. I've got a random USB because when I go to work in the radio station we have to record things and USBs are like the most, the, the highest market value object in the office like everyone's USB always goes missing and you can never find a USB to put anything on so I usually generally carry around a USB with me and I put it back in my bag before anyone in the office steals it last thing I've got the Soap and Glory Handmade Hand Cleansing Gel. Now, I used to never use this, but Joan, my friend, got me into it when I went back to Melbourne. I don't think I actually like the smell of it. It's a bit musky, which I don't like musk, but I've kind of gotten used to it. And when I smell it, I just think of her, which makes me feel at home, which makes me feel like I'm in Melbourne. So that's good. But it's a very nice, small, compact bottle. It's 50 mils, and it fits into the zip compartment very nicely. And because China is so dirty and grotty, and you have to touch like that gross paper money all the time, this has actually been used multiple times a day. For the bag at the back it just has the sort of logo print there it's a gold plate on a silver plate which is I don't know kind of cute and these are detachable so this sort of bit actually spins around so make sure that your strap never sort of gets choked and it's always moving so it's easily detachable like that um, and I do use the bag just like this if I don't have too many things to bring about and if I'm just going out for dinner or something like with this outfit I'll probably just carry this bag like this and I think it's very cute so the strap is also adjustable. It's like the buckle type system, so you can make it shorter, make it longer. Right now, I have it long enough so that I can have it across my body. The like the hooks that I also like is that when I go traveling, I have my travel pillow, and I like to just hook it onto this hook here as well, so the travel pillow just hangs off my bag. So this bag, I use every day for work, and then I also use when I go on the plane, and I have a carry-on bag, and then just a small bag for my passport and things that I need and whatnot. So I know it was expensive, but I have used this bag almost every second day since I bought it December last year. And it actually does go with a lot of outfits. And when it doesn't, I just wear it anyway. And it's a really good travel bag because it actually fits so much. Like, hello, it fit this thermos and a book and all that other stuff. Like, it does get quite heavy if you put that much stuff in it and get bulky. But like I said, it does spread out. And if you want it smaller, you can just press the inlets in again and... It just immediately gets a little smaller and it's just so cute. So yeah, that's what's in my bag so far these days. Let me know what's in your bag and what is the bag that you've used for the longest or the weirdest thing that you have in your bag. Because I think everything that I have in my bag is probably quite normal apart from the USB. But yeah, sometimes you'll find little snacks in here and little crumbs of biscuits and stuff. But yeah, those are the bad days. So let me know and thank you so much for watching. If you want any more What's In My Bag videos or any other bag reviews, I can do that too. Just comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Right there. These are called screenshots. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we'll start off with the bag. Let me just... Ugh. Okay, this is the Louis Vuitton Keepal Bandoulier in the...